That's a good one. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Bree. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for all your support and subscribing and liking and all the comments. I really enjoy reading them. This video, I want to take you through some of my wildest catches I've ever had while off of a stand-up paddleboard. And at the end of this video, I'm going to talk about how I got started stand-up paddleboard fishing. Wow, that is a nice fit. Catch it. Nice job. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nice job. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That is huge. <laughs> That's a beautiful catch. Solid. She knows. Don't worry. Bree, you gotta hold him up. Can't even lift it. <laughs> Don't make more. Is he gonna make it? Is he okay? Yeah. Nice catch, girl. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You caught his hand. He ate my mullet. <laughs> it was such a good pull, too. I was like, oh my gosh, this thing's huge. <laughs> then I saw his head come up. I was like, no. How the heck? Oh, I can hear this. It's not a fish. He snaked me from under the mangroves. Alright, um, so I need to cover his head. It's a 15 pound test. <laughs> 15 pound test. Come on, man. Catch of the day. Definitely the biggest catch of the day. Bree is determined to get the hook out of the gator. We're going to. I just have to cover its head. Come on, bud. This girl's Don't be hardcore. Stubborn. This girl is hardcore right here. He's not cooperating. He needs to come up on the board. <laughs> come on. He legitimately is using his foot. He's, and he's so biting cute. Look at him for a second. You're taking oh. your shirt off. Yeah, I need to cover his eyes because we're gonna cover his face and try to save his life. Ugh, I'm gonna get dead. Oh wait, oh, good, he's good. Oh my god, he's gonna shake around. No, I'm about to get my girl. Don't move. <gasps> Bree. Here, give me some slack. This girl will do anything. I can't leave a hook in his hand. Man, I bet you did think that was a big <laughs> snuck. <laughs> That's huge. We got him. We got him free. We got him. Gonna release him. This is him. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, bud. Release. Don't want to hook him again. <laughs> <sighs> All right. He's good. Was that a th I, I'm glad he didn't break me. I'm glad he wasn't hurt. And there he goes. See the bubbles? Bubble trail. Bye-bye, gator. He's safe <laughs> and he hates me forever. Awesome job, girl. <laughs> nice. 
nice job getting him in. Heck yeah. Whoa. Well guys, I got done work late, way later than I was expecting to, but I did want to tell you the story of how I started paddleboard fishing. So I've been fishing my whole life, ever since I was a little kid, three years old. I caught my first keeper at the age of three on a little kid's Mickey Mouse rod. So I've been fishing my whole life and I moved down to Florida about, I think it's eight or nine years ago. So I came down here for school and I had a friend that would go spear fishing. And he would just swim off from the beach and just go straight out and, you know, had a dive flag spear gun and would put the fish on his hip. And that was how we go spear fishing. And I always thought, you know, like, man, I just feel like something could go wrong. <laughs> God forbid a shark or something comes up and once you're catch, you know, you don't really have much of a barrier between you. So... I got into spear fishing and I was like, you know what? It would be great to have a float or a board or something out there um, to be able to be that barrier so that you don't get bit by a shark. So I got the cheapest paddle board I could find. I got two of them and <laughs> they were totally meant for surfing. They were not meant for fishing by any means, but of course me wanting to fish and fishing any chance that I got to, I decided to take those boards with me and I just strap a little crate to it and I would try to get over the deep spots because that's where the waders couldn't get to. So I was, you know, finding new spots and I was able to get to them just from using the paddle board. And one day I happened to go fishing and, you know, early morning in Jupiter, Florida, try a new spot and there happened to be a, for what I thought it was, I thought it was a yoga class, but it was actually a uh, photo shoot for Bic Sport and they're using the paddle boards and somebody came up to me and asked, you know, like, are you going to fish off your board? And I was like, yeah, of course. And he's like, do you do this a lot? And do you catch fish? And I was like, yeah. And pretty much he said, you know, we want you to fish off of our board. And that's where it all started with working with some of the companies that I work with now. A uh, paddleboard came in the mail a month later and started to fish on their boards. And having a fishing paddleboard makes all the difference in the world. You know, I can jump up and down on these things, put a bunch of gear on them. And I, from that point on, I was just like, you know, I, I want to find more spots. And um, I was out there almost every chance I got to. I was I was in school at the time. So... Uh, that was my sanity. That was how I would get out and relax and decompress from working with patients and the computer and writing papers and all of that. So I'm, I'm still back in school teaching this time, so I'm on the other side, but I still do the same. I get out there and really enjoy being outside and just decompressing after a long day and uh, it keeps me sane. So that's where the paddleboard fishing all started. I uh, started with spear fishing offshore and then you know, applying it inshore with uh, just fishing for snook and getting to docks off that paddleboard. And now it's it's taken me <laughs> so many places, whether it be camping, spearing, everything. So I really enjoy uh, using my paddle boards and uh, hope it inspires you to try it and get out there and try something new with them.